welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to do a review on the Birch Box and see if it's really worth the money. Because I've seen a lot of people say that the products aren't worth what you pay for it and I was quite curious myself because I always wanted to order one. So I thought I'd order one and I went online and it was £10.295 and shipping. It took around 4 or 5 days to get here and yeah I finally got it. And I know this is the July box and this is now August. But that's just how late it came, so yeah, I'm going to open up and see what we get. Okay, so this is the box here, it's got like palm trees, I quite like the box, I'm probably going to keep this, and it's got like the little drawer with what's inside, so I'm just going to open it and see what we get. Okay, so the first thing in here is a sneak peek leaflet that tells me what's in next month's box, which this next month is going to be the full spectrum brush, which looks pretty good, so I'm hoping the products in here are as good as the ones that's going to be next month. And inside it tells me everything that's going to be in this box and the price. So I'm not going to look, but I will refer back to it when I need to know the prices. Okay, so the first thing I've got in the box is this Rituals Shaving Foam, which is quite nice. The top's missing, but I'll... It smells really strong, like probably not something I would use, but it seems to foam up quite nicely and yeah, I'll give it a go. This retails for... £4.50 so already they're claiming to have given you half the price of your box but this does not look like a full size so I'm assuming this is like a travel size so probably about half the price of that. So next thing I got is this little Pop Beauty eyeshadow trio in the shade Champagne Mocha and it is just three little eyeshadows and to be fair they look quite nice but they do look like they're all shimmer. And I do prefer like a matte kind of for the crease. Uh, it did come with one of these little like rubbish makeup sponge applicators that no one ever uses. But this retails for £15.50 but I can see in the photo they actually show you that that's a bigger eyeshadow palette. So this is obviously just like a little sample. So again, not really worth £15. And to be honest, I'm probably never going to use this because as I said, it's all shimmers. I'll probably use it like this one under my brow bone or something but not going to be travel friendly because if you like mattes you're not going to like it. The next thing you get in here is a Balance Me Natural Skincare Flash Cleanse Micellar Water and this is like a decent travel size, sort of sample size kind of thing and they're saying in here that it retails for £16 but obviously you're not going to pay £16 for a small bottle. It seems to be okay and I've never actually tried this brand but it does smell quite strong and it looks like the main ingredient is water, so it's good. I, don't, I like prefer water cleanser, so I'll definitely give this a go and see how it works. But so far, I'm not seeing my money's worth because a lot of things that I wouldn't say are worth as much as they're saying they're worth. Next, we have this little English laundry perfume that comes in this little packet. I'm guessing it's a little, yeah, it's a little sample size. So yeah, it's just like a little pink tube. And I'm gonna smell it and see if it actually smells any good. The sprayer, not, you guys can see that, it's not very good. It smells like something my gran would probably wear, like an old kind of scenty kind of thing. Very floral, and it says this is worth £46, but I mean, this is literally like the tiniest sample size, so you probably go into the shop and ask for this and they probably get it for free. So I'm not really going to say that this is worth it, and to be honest, I don't really use perfume samples because... I would just rather buy a full bottle of perfume that I know I like, but I mean, if you're into perfume samples, you get it in this box. The next thing I got, and the last thing I got, was actually a thing I got to pick myself on the website. You got to pick between two different ones, and it's the Benefit Cosmetic Go Go Tint. I got to pick between the Go Go Tint and the Cha Cha Tint, and I picked Go Go just because I preferred like, the red, and it's just this tiny, tiny little sample of like lip stain, and it is very bright. It's very bright red, you can use it on your lips or your cheeks and it kind of stains and it apparently stays it all day and they're saying this retails for £25.50 but obviously you're not going to go into a shop and pay £25.50 for this and again, it's not really worth... So far I'm not impressed, I'm not impressed with what I paid and what I've got, so yeah. Next, with the Birch Box, I don't know if this was like an extra but this is like I heard a lot of people say this was the June bag that you got and it's got some stuff in it but it's quite a nice bag. I quite like the colour, like the pastel purple and the pastel blue and like the pink zipper. So yeah, I quite like that. But the first thing you get in here is a Scrub Love Hydrating Coconut Oil Body Scrub and it's coconut and mango. 
It looks quite small. It looks quite nice, actually. I do like like body scrubs for in the shower. It smells quite nice. Definitely smells of coconut, and you can actually smell a tiny little hint of mango in there, which is quite nice. So I'm excited to use this. Next, I've got a Perfect Legs Skin Miracle, and it's a tinted moisturiser to help cover imperfections and tint the skin a little bit. And I'm assuming this is just like, oh, it's actually like really kind of kind of bronzy. It's quite nice if you've got a tan, which I have fake tan on the now, so. That would go really nice for days where I don't have any foundation on and yeah that looks quite nice but again it's a tiny little sample I really wish you'd put some decent full size stuff in here but get what you pay for. Next I got this Arrow and Hands waterproof eyeliner and it's like a it's a very pink as you can see and it looks quite nice. Looks alright actually. Be nice in the waterline so yeah that's Again, don't know what to say, it's just a little sample size, so yeah. Next I've got the Meech and Maya Brow Liner in the shade 021. And this is just a brow pencil and it's a very brownie shade. Which I'm quite surprised because I hope they didn't send this to everyone because I know not everyone would suit this colour. And they do ask in the little survey thing you do what colour your hair you are. And I did say I had blonde, so the fact they sent me quite a dark eyebrow pencil kind of proves that they didn't really pay attention to the sort of file you make and yeah they just it seems decent quality but again not anything worth so yeah it's just sort of like i didn't really listen to what i put in my file and i'm a bit disappointed because if i didn't do dark like sort of brown eyebrows then this totally wouldn't work for me i'm just lucky that i do do those eyebrows but yeah if you are looking for a box that's specifically going to be suited to you just from this i can kind of say it's not going to be the last things in the bag they're actually two identical products, like I thought they'd be two different things, but they're both Bobbi Brown and they are eye repair creams and these are tiny, tiny little sample sizes. But I mean, Bobbi Brown's quite a good brand, so so far this is the only thing I've really seen that excites me. And it smells okay and I'll definitely give it a go, but yes, but you've got two of these, they could have put another product in instead of two of the same thing. But I mean, yeah. Overall, I'd say Birchbox, you do get, you probably don't get a lot more than your money's worth. There definitely is better subscription boxes out there, like Boxy Charm and Love Me Beauty. There's just loads that you could probably try. This one, you do get about what you pay, but again, if you're only looking for sample sizes, this is a box for you. If you want full sizes, definitely try Boxy Charm. They do do quite a lot of full size products. And yeah, but. As I said, it doesn't really seem to follow your pattern that you put in your survey when it asks you at the beginning, it asks you your hair colour, your hair type, what sort of stuff you like receiving. And I definitely didn't put perfume and I received perfume and I seem to have only got one makeup product that was quite rubbish. So I am a little bit disappointed and I don't think I'll be ordering Birchbox again. But if you have any suggestions into what sort of products I should try, definitely leave it below and I'll definitely give it a go. And of course, let me know if you want to see a video on anyone. Thanks for watching, remember to give the video a thumbs up, comment down below what you want to see next and what you want, if there's anything you want me to specifically do. And yeah, don't forget to subscribe and I'll see you in the next video. Bye!